a notch down under 100 hertz for my kick what do you mean this is my whole drum bus right here that i have set up it's a an ableton native drum bus that i made well not all entirely i do have this uh apple sample delay but yeah they've got the drum bus the eq8 you feel me sometimes i boost this but i usually don't have to because i boost it on the drum bus and i know it seems counterintuitive but i like the boom that it gives it right here so then sometimes i just notch it a little bit it's like 1.8 sometimes i go negative one uh, then i got saturn after that which is classic i got it on the warm tape and it's only like what like 17 percent sometimes i boost it more but it, you don't really need to so it's just very subtle but it definitely makes a difference it definitely makes like a subtle difference and then i got the glue compressor after that with the eq so it only does it's only compressing everything above 200 I, I i'd change it give or take depending on the beat and then you know i keep it at like ne negative two negative three um gain or, or gain reduction and then i make up gain the same shit you know and then i have this magma which is one of my favorite fucking plugins who is it waves audio waves gave it for free and it's a fucking, it's a saturator plugin. But you can just go, you can go heavy. And then I got the Frontier free soft clipper. I think both of these are free. They should still be free. I think 3.3 millis milliseconds, 1.1. It does add up because the, 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 the native ones have zero latency. Um, and then I have a Tele soft clip like shit. It's just to kind of, I boost, this is where I get all the volume from. Yeah, man, that shit makes a difference. Like, it's like very subtle. But man, I appreciate that, man. I've been working on my mixing and mastering for for at least like the last two, three years.